Mr. Nalashmi. I've got two clarifications uh, for SMS Amy call. Uh, one is in regard to uh, non-practicing nurses. Um, have you utilised all means to bring them back into the uh, uh, workforce, uh, especially in the ILTC sector? Uh, the second clarification is on uh, uh, and placing uh, uh, graduates, that means uh, new entrants to nursing, uh, difference between a diploma graduate and a degree graduate, can we break the glass ceiling and then place them uh, correctly since they'll be doing the same job? Thank you. Um, for the uh, non-practicing nurses, in fact, we have enhanced our return to nursing uh, program. Uh, so what we have done is to change this into a place and train program so that the nurses who are coming back uh, will be placed first before they go for training, refresher course. So they will be paid a salary instead of an allowance. Uh, and uh, over the last two years, we have actually been able to get about 25 hour, uh, return to uh, uh, non-practicing nurses back into uh, practice uh, in the community care, sec care sector the last two years, right? Uh, so we are doing as much as we can to encourage uh, non-practicing nurses to come back uh, into the sector, particularly in the community care sector. Uh, for uh, new entrant staff uh, nurses, uh, diploma and graduate nurses, um, basically uh, our public healthcare institutions are paying uh, our nurses or healthcare professionals uh, on a performance basis. Uh, uh, Base, uh, uh, basis, uh, not qualifications, not just based on qualifications, but for new entrants, uh, that is people who actually basically have very little or no working experience, then academic qualifications will be used as a basis. Uh, and for graduates, really they have gone through six years of pre-registration training. Uh, so uh, when they uh, join uh, the profession, uh, they are paid uh, at a staff nurse grade one uh, level simply because they have actually gone through a longer period of training uh, and they would have attained deeper skills uh, to kick off as, as well as the fact that when they are actually employed, they would be uh, likely uh, assuming a wider breadth or, or scope of uh, duties. Uh, and for the diploma, pre-registration is three years. They will be able to start work after that. But they will then have the same opportunities as the graduate nurses to uh, progress in their career. And in fact, after they join, both of them will be assessed uh, basically based on their performance as well as uh, any additional specialized skills that they will have gotten through uh, in the in-service training.